OceanGate CEO hire students. OceanGate put the crew's lives in the hands of inexperienced people. And here I'll tell you how he did it. But first, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Recently, it was confirmed that OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush hired college students to design the electrical systems on the submarine that led him and four others to their deaths. But what exactly did these students do? What was the motive for hiring inexperienced people to work for the company? Many things are said, but obscure motives are some of the most common. The most idealistic say that bright young people were given the opportunity to develop their skills and experience. The most critical, however, say it was because the company wanted to save a few thousand dollars on engineering, which led them on a journey of no return into the deep sea. It is possible that Stockton's greed led it to ignore all the safety measures that the company's own experts had warned about. According to inside sources, the components used by the students were purchased from camp stores and were off-the-shelf materials, so they were not specifically designed for deep-sea travel. Senior Mark Walsh was treasurer of WSU's Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Club when OceanGate's director of engineering, Tony Nissen, described some of the company's challenges, according to the school newspaper. Walsh said he and his classmates volunteered to offer solutions. Tony said, OK, you're hired said Walsh, who graduated in 2017 and then joined OceanGate full-time as the company's director of electrical engineering. Could this have been the mistake that sealed the fate of the Titan crew members? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.